Hello hobby farmers, I'm Steve with the Hobby Farm Guys. Monday means spotlight day and today I spotlight one of, if not the oldest dairy cow breeds on the planet. Originating in the Swiss Alps, these large attractive cows produce milk which boasted an ideal fat to protein ratio, making it ideal for cheese making. Join me in learning all about the brown Swiss cow right after the intro, which is a great time to click those like and subscribe buttons. The Brown Swiss, or American Brown Swiss, is an American breed of dairy cattle. It derives from the traditional triple-purpose brown feet of the Alpine region of Europe, but has diverged substantially from it. It was selectively bred for dairy qualities only, and its draft and beef capabilities have largely been lost. Probably the oldest of the dairy breeds, Brown Swiss cows, are descended from cattle used in the valleys and mountain slopes of Switzerland since before historic records began. These old brown feet cattle, sometimes called Swiss Browns, descend from a breed, or perhaps more accurately, a group of breeds of domestic cattle that had dwelled in the Swiss Alps for generations. There's documented evidence showing that the breed was developed by monks residing in the area as early as approximately a thousand years ago, and today's Swiss brown cow closely resembles bones found in ruins in the area that date back to 4000 BC. Originally a triple purpose animal, they were used for milk production, meat, and as draft animals. As recently as the 1600s, there were at least 12 types of brown cattle found in the mountains of Switzerland, with a wide variation in type and size, depending upon where they were raised. Focus selection began the Canton of Schweitz, and large cattle were brought in from Germany to improve the breed. These brown fee, which is German for brown cow, were a beef breed that also performed well in the milking department. In the latter part of the 19th century, around 1869, these cattle were exported to the United States where they were then selectively bred for dairy qualities only. The result was the development of a distinct breed, the American Brown Swiss. Sometimes people refer to brown fee as brown Swiss and vice versa. They are in fact two separate breeds. The brown fee, sometimes called the Swiss Brown, is the old original beef breed, and the brown Swiss or American Brown Swiss is a dairy breed that was selectively bred from the brown fee sock. The American Brown Swiss breed descends from a total of 167 imported parent animals. The Breed Society, the Brown Swiss Cattle Breeders Association, was formed in 1880 and the first herd book dates from 1889. Brown Swiss are typically, as the name suggests, some shade of brown. Their actual shade may vary from a very light silver to a deep dark brown. There may be some shading in the coat with four quarters often darker than the legs and hind parts. The muzzle is black ringed with creamy white. The hooves and switch should be black. Brown Swiss cattle have been bred horned and pulled. When horned, the horns are short and white, growing dark towards the top. One of the largest bodied dairy breeds, they're big boned, and mature cows weigh in around 1,300 to 1,400 pounds, and bulls can reach weights in excess of 2,000 pounds. On average, a brown Swiss cow can produce around 6 to 7 gallons of milk per day, and the milk of the brown Swiss is unique, having longer chain fatty acids than other popular dairy breeds, and smaller fat globules in the cream. This results in the cream rising much more slowly. This characteristic, along with the ratio of protein to fat in the milk, is ideal for cheese making. The butter fat is around four to four and a half percent, and the protein is 3.5 to 3.8 percent. Another advantage of the breed is that the milk can often be consumed by people with protein allergies. Those allergic to milk are not always allergic to the lactose. Sometimes it's the A1 protein in the milk that causes the allergy. About 70% of brown Swiss cattle have the A2 protein, which makes their milk more digestible to people who are allergic to the A1 protein. Classified as a dairy breed in the United States, they're often considered a dual purpose breed elsewhere, as are heavy boned and thicker fleshed than many other cattle breeds that are used for dairy. Perhaps a credit to their development in the Alps, this breed is also known for their strong legs and feet and overall structural correctness. This equates to a longer productive lifespan compared to many dairy breeds. These cattle are also noted for their adaptability to differing climates, being popular in both North and South America, as well as the Middle East. They're able to withstand both hot and cold climates while still maintaining a high level of production. Additionally, brown Swiss cattle show more disease resistance than most dairy breeds. Calm and docile, they have a long lifespan and their relatively flat lactation curve results in the breed's reputation for having statistically fewer metabolic problems. Will these cows mature a little more slowly? Bulls can be fertile breeders at as young as 12 to 14 months. The biggest complaint about these hardy, long-lived cows seems to be that there can be issues breeding them and with teaching young calves to drink from a bucket. Do you have experience with this breed? 
Share your thoughts in the comments. Thanks for watching. Remember to check our playlist to find additional spotlights on other cow breeds you may be interested in. And if you don't see something you want, drop a request in the comments. Remember to like the video and keep on hobby farming.